Well, hello again, guys. Welcome to Villa Vibes. This is your host, Kay. And today we will be touching on relationship talk. There's a topic that came to my attention and I would love to hear your feedback, guys. So please feel free to comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this topic. Okay? So if you haven't subscribed yet, please take this opportunity to do so. And I want to thank our continuous subscribers and viewers for watching my videos. Okay, guys? Please hit that notification bell, share, and like this video. So we'll start into our topic, self-reflection before marriage or self-reflection in general. So what we need to know is what is self-reflection? So self-reflection is defined as a meditation or serious thoughts about your character, your action, and motive. It also talks about thinking on a step back, right? A step back reflection of your life and your behavior and belief. So before you can go into a marriage, right? Or going to a relationship, we need to have that reflection on our life knowing who we are internally and externally and one key point is when we do this reflection let's just pay this one key thing attention right if you think it's your alarm clock that wakes you up this morning try putting that alarm clock beside a dead body and then you will realize the grace of god that it is the grace of god that is keeping you alive. So when you're reflecting, just pay mindful attention that your life has been given to you by only the grace of God. Reflect on Him and give Him thanks for each moment, each time that we spend on this earth. Because a lot of us have lost sight of that. We have lost sight of that and we need to realize that we have been given a chance each day to reflect to analyze to come into our purpose to know who we are and who we are in Christ key thing who we are in Christ so the thing about your character when you're going into a marriage remember during Adam and Eve right they weren't married right away Adam was created first, then Eve came about, and they became one. So with us, we were, or we are one, single person, before we become one in marriage. So therefore, we need to check ourselves individually, and know who we are before we put ourselves into a relationship or marriage. Because a lot of people think marriage can fix them. But no, marriage doesn't fix anyone. What marriage does is unveil, is showcase your true character, your true action, your true, your true belief, your makeup in general. That's what marriage does. It's un it unfolds everything. Because a lot of us think that What's hidden in the darkness will comes out in the light. Come on, come on. It will come out. So when we are going into a marriage, let's just take a step back before thinking about that. Reflect on you. Know you as a person. Knows what makes you tick. Knows what makes you happy. And knows you need to know what what is your purpose and moving towards that purpose because if you're running a race as a single person you're running a race you don't stop for the others to catch you up no right you don't stop for the others to catch you up you proceed you continue running your race eventually you'll see people coming beside you let's say for a marriage perspective right now you will see people running beside you and this is marriage in a spiritual world right now 
not just coming up just married in for no particular reason right when you are of Christ you don't step back for people to meet for you to meet people you continue running your race in Christ because God knows what you want before you even think of it so continue pursuing your path with God and when you're running that race remember that people is gonna come beside you and God is like look left look right and he will give you a chance to choose the right person for you God always give us that choice so continue on your journey continue on your purpose because the person that you're supposed to get will be running that race alongside you too because on equal ground you don't want to be on unequal ground do you no set on your course right and when that person comes it will meet you there God will provide God will deliver remember that so we need to step back and reflect on ourselves our character marriage cannot fix that again it reveals take a look into yourself understand the opportunity that you have been given God give us a powerful weapon and that weapon is our mind our mind our brain it is so powerful beyond measure a lot of people are smart a lot of people might not be in the smart category they're just not smart right but smart people think they're all that smart people don't think sometimes but the best thing is learn how to be wise because wise people think with their heart and when you have that spiritual connection when you have that spiritual connection nothing beats that so we need a lot of wise people now what's your character huh what's your motive in life you can't go into a marriage broken you can't go into a marriage with burdens right with baggage you need to let go be free be happy be joyful in yourself because first we have to love ourselves before we can love anybody else. Key thing, loving ourselves before we can love anybody else. Treat yourself, cater to yourself, pamper yourself, care for yourself, educate yourself, uplift yourself. We need to do that. We can't go into a relationship looking for someone to bring that to the table for us. That's why a lot of marriages don't work. That's why 50% of marriages end in divorce. Because we're lost in ourselves. First, you need to find yourself. And when, once you can do that, once you come into that, greatness begin to pour in your life begin to change because when you feed yourself internally it what that's what comes out externally they said garbage in garbage out positivity in positivity out we need to reaffirm ourselves that we are blessed and we are highly favored. We need to reaffirm that because of the grace of God, we are kept alive another day. We need to affirm that we are great, that we are mighty by the grace of God. Don't try to put yourself up there above the grace of God. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. It does not work like that and that's some of the things that allow us not to come into our true purpose as an individual before we get into a marriage 
If you're a person who fuss and quarrel, who who is a very negative, and then you want to put yourself into a marriage, how do you expect that to work? If you're a person who likes to hit and be disrespectful to, to someone, how do you put yourself into a marriage? If you're a person who can love yourself for who you are, how are you going to love your partner? How? So I want to leave this key note with you that, is in, that it is very important to know yourself well before getting into a marriage. If you do not get in touch with who you are at the core, you could easily make misinformed or misguided decision about the people you choose to date or even the person you married. Know yourself. Know yourself. Okay? Don't be too cocky. Don't be too boastful. A lot of, okay, let's say some women, some men go into a relationship and think this is all about themselves. Come on, let's reflect. If you are going into a relationship, you need to be able, you need to be able to cater to both you and your partner needs, belief, character, decision, and lifestyle so it's not all about you so this is why it's important to reflect on ourselves knowing what we are going into before is someone able to put up with me like this what do I need to change in myself what do I need to work on would someone love me like this again this is not about your esteem now This is not about your outer appearance. This is beyond that. This is your core. This is what makes you up. Not physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically. It's based on your character, your motive, your belief, and disbelief. What's your, what's your needs? What's your wants? You know? So, when we are leading into or thinking of marriage, think about yourself. Know yourself. Know who you are. Your desires. Right? And key thing, love yourself. Key thing, give God thanks daily. A lot of people is not able or not able to see this day so when you get out of your out of your bed the first thing is to give God thanks whether you believe highly whether if you are a righteous Christian or not the thing is you have breath into your body you have life in your body so you are able to reflect on you. If you're in a marriage, to reflect on your marriage, to reflect on your children, to reflect on yourself. Reflecting on yourself is very, very important. You, I would sometimes lay in my bed before I get up. I will give God thanks, bear with me, I might, I don't do it every day, but the grace of God and His Spirit that guides me, it corrects me, it chastens me, and let me know that we have to, we have to give Him thanks. It's like taking something from someone without showing your gratitude, without showing how thankful you are. That doesn't come across pleasant. That's it. And God have given us and forgive us numerous times. But yet we fail to realize, we fail to acknowledge who he really is. And once we do that, 
it's not gonna say life is gonna be all shang dangles no but the grace of the almighty god will keep you in alignment no matter what fiery dart comes at you guess what you are shielded and protected by him so knowing yourself in the spirit and knowing yourself in the flesh knowing what you're capable to do because once you have the spirit of god with you it will say okay hold up k no 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 you need to take a step back girl that's not of god that's not of god right so i'm going to read these some notes that i've put down and i need you to pay key attention to this okay it says number one no matter how beautiful or handsome you are remember gorilla and baboons and all these cute animals they attract tourists right so we need to stop being boastful too boasty if you want to continue sure go ahead but too much of something is not good stop being too boastful okay number two no matter how big and strong you are you will never carry yourself to the grave a lot of people think they're in power they are high they're mighty politicians prime ministers lawyers doctor oh i'm mighty society wise up there guess what you cannot carry yourself to your grave so we need to be humble be humble number three no matter how tall you are you will never see tomorrow you don't know what's coming your way you don't know what's coming your way tomorrow be thankful for today be grateful for today love those who you need to love today care for those who you need to care for today praise God today cherish yourself today because we need to be patient we need to be patient no matter how rich or how many cars you have you will always walk to your bed or somebody's gonna carry you fine but you will always walk to your bed so we need to be contented be contented showing off this showing off that sometimes you don't even guys don't grudge someone for what they have because you don't even know how they come about getting it you don't know how they reach there a lot of people have people that motivate them right there's nothing wrong with having someone that motivates you but what I always reflect on I don't really look at the person lifestyle I look at the words that they use how they put it in contest it's the words that motivate me not the person in general because a lot of people are wolf in sheep clothing they speak one thing but yet still do the other could be preachers could be people who prophesy it could be politicians it could be anybody don't look because God can use anybody he could use a man man on the street he can use people in high power to say something to you to take you from one place to the other don't look at how the message come just receive your message and go on don't look at the mailman it's only the messenger take your message read it and move on oh this person look like it doesn't come to no 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 don't be too cocky no listen listen to hear not listen to react negatively if you are against what the person is saying respectfully show your yourself or respectfully let them know okay this and that but do not be rude do not be disrespectful when they're just the messenger okay 
And the next thing is, take life easy. A lot of you might oppose on this. What is taking life easy? One step at a time. Do not jump loops because you might as well have to turn back. One step at a time with God in the midst of it. God leading you. Okay? God is leading you. One step at a time. Knowing yourself. Knowing your purpose. Knowing your belief. What do I believe in? The person that I'm going with, what do they believe in? Because that's a conflict right there. That's conflict in the relationship. It is very vital to know who you're going into a relationship, knowing yourself, and then knowing the person that you're going into a relationship with. What do they believe in? Are you going to change your belief for another? Are you able to do that? Some might do and some might not. And that creates a conflict of interest in the relationship, in the marriage. I'm going to be playing a clip for you guys to watch. This is a pastor by the name of Michael Todd. And he made a very important statement. In one of my previous video, I had touched point on this. Like when you go into a marriage, once you're in it, we need to know this. Because it's not all about you. And the, and it's, the person can say it's all about them. It's a connection. It is a connection. So right now, I'm going to play this clip for you. And you tell me. You tell me what you think. Okay? Take this time to listen. We can go places and Netflix and chill. We can go places and hook up. What you don't know is that every time you hook up, you are joining to that person physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And it's supposed to be something that's never broken apart. And so that's why when you just hook up with that person and you rip it away, they always take a piece of you. Because it was supposed to be a bond that was only done with one person one time. And so if you're hooking up with them and you rip away, and then you hook up with them and you rip away, you will never be everything God called you to be because people are walking around with pieces of you. When God wanted a man and a woman to be connected, it was because they were supposed to be the one they were connected with for life. And I know society says you only live once, YOLO. No, believers, we live twice. And what we do down here matters. Yes, guys. Yes. This goes deep. Deep, deep, deeper than deep. I won't even go into the video. The video speaks for itself. So if you have any questions, if you have any comment, feel free to comment in the description below. In the comment section below. Self-reflection is important, guys. We need to check ourselves. We need to know ourselves. We need to know ourselves in Christ. We need to know who we are, who we represent, what we believe in, what's our character, what's our motive, what's our like, what's our dislike. Can someone love me? Right? We need to know all of that before we go into a marriage. Confidence is key. Confidence in who you are. Don't be cocky. Don't be boastful. Don't be too prideful, because pride kills. I know a lot of people is very prideful. If they do something wrong, they won't even take the opportunity, the time to say, I am sorry. A lot of people are too prideful, too, too, too into themselves. And that's not going to build you up. That's going to tear you down because burden kills burden is a heavy thing imagine each phase in your life something happens something goes wrong and all you do is pack your bag with it pack your bag with it pack your bag with it that's gonna wait a lot a lot of weight's gonna be on your shoulder and if you go into a relationship if you go into a marriage with such burden such weight oh lord god forbid help that person who you take up whether male or female so if you're a female and you take up a male and you have such burden on you, who, how long can you carry that for? 
a year, two years into the marriage, three years, that thing is going to be unfolding, unraveling because you're just going to be going down like this, like this, with weights, with burdens, with with baggage, with emotion, with with all different sort of negativity all oh, things that happen when you are with this person things that happen and you just keep everything in all that emotion builds up oh my god one of the greatest thing is to be free be light be it's like floating it is like floating guys have you ever experienced such thing like you for example say you have an argument with someone say you have a disagreement with someone right and then you you don't want to let the person know what's happening you don't want to tell them how you feel you don't want to express yourself and then one day you reflect one day you think and say you know what i need to let this person know how i'm feeling remember be respectful now be respectful I need to let this person know I'm feeling because you can let people know your mind without being disrespectful you can let them know of course okay I need to let them know that this bothers me this triggers me I didn't like what they say try it one day and see how free you get how light it feels it makes you feel free it all depends on how many per per people you have up in this head you need to let go you need to let go yes guys so I know a lot of people who have this wall built up in them for example your relationship with your parents your relationship with your dad and your mom and they might do something to offend you, but yet still you continue building that block of wall higher and higher and higher and higher. And you do not release and let them know what's going on internally and how you're feeling emotionally. And when you carry that, whether you go into a relationship, that burden is going to be on you. That burden is going to be with your kids. So sometimes we need to let those things go. Forgiveness is key. Forgiveness is very crucial. It's like the prerequisite of freedom. You have to be able to forgive, to be free, and to be light. So when people come around you, they don't feel like every burden. Because sometimes you're able to feel someone's spirit. You can feel that heaviness upon them. So forgiveness is very vital. So whatever situation you might be going through, whatever relationship that you had that let you into that let you have that burden in your life, before you move on, you need to let that go. If your dad did something wrong, your sister, your brother, family, your friends did something wrong, you need to be able to forgive them in order to take the next step forward. Because that will drag you back. I tell you, you might not realize it now, but it will drag you back. So we need to understand that we need to reflect on ourselves internally, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically. Learn to love yourself. Learn to be free. Learn to let go of things that need to be let go that can hold you back in life. Know your true purpose in life before you go into a relationship. If you're a spendthrift, if you like to spend a lot, if you like to waste your money, gamble and all these things, a drunkard like to drink and be drunk, and then you're going into a marriage, that can lead right into divorce because you do not know yourself enough to understand that listen I need to take care of me first I need to either tone down on my drinking I need to let go of this alcoholism this these are the things that we need to know in ourselves because people can't change us you have to change yourself 
and when you're going into a marriage you can't think that oh when this person come they're going to change me no it doesn't work like that you have to change yourself no one can change you if you're motivated by someone it's still up to you to be driven by it it is still your choice to take that and move forward because if you're motivated and don't 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 take the action what's the point what is the point it is all on you because it says every man is for themselves even the Bible state that every man is for themselves so if you're safe and you're in a marriage you're able to sustain that relationship with God and have a covering over your family but at the end of the day if God comes now if God comes now you know you are going to be judged because that person had the foundation for you you see the relationship that person had in Christ and it's you that needs to follow that it's you that need to take up the mantle and follow Christ so I'm going to be judged based on what I have done and you are going to be judged based on what you have done so every man is for themselves every individual stand on their two feet every individual have the choice of the, the the privilege to choose what they want what to do we all have a purpose in life we do but you have to come into your purpose you have to come into your purpose what's my purpose let's reflect let's speak to God let's come in have a relationship with him so he's able to unfold on unveil open our spiritual ears and our spiritual eyes so we can be able to see and to know what to do where to go who to talk to who to correct who to forgive and the list goes on the list goes on daily 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 every second and every minute we need to give God thanks we need to reflect and be grateful for this very breath that we breathe be grateful be thankful thankful we need to be thankful so I'm going to leave with this prayer okay so I want to end this day with gratitude in my heart I am grateful that I'm in the world where many things are not good but the power of God is beyond excellent words cannot compare to how great and mighty God is I am thankful for the unconditional love and for his favor and faithfulness and provision in my life I know no matter how tough things may be I'm always I am always I always have something to be thankful for the very least and the least thing we might take for granted a roof over our head a bed that we can sleep on speaking seeing hearing be able to move our body our body is functioning we have a family we have a family and most of all we have life we have life so we need to be grateful for so I thank God for all his blessing I thank him that is able to give me this opportunity this platform so I can show off his glory show off his grace remember no one is perfect but the grace of God that's within us is perfect and he is in us and once he is in us the spirit that is perfect in us will correct it will correct us daily 
it was it will leave the imperfect flesh daily the perfect spirit of God that with that is within us what's your prayer today what are you thankful to do today what will you sit down and reflect on today what will you work on what do you need to change within yourself who do you need to forgive who do you need to forgive to let go of this burden sit down reflect work on you love you cherish you okay guys so I want to take this time to thank all those who have sit through and listened to all of this I hope you take something from this and apply it to yourself or pass this message on to someone who you think needs to hear and needs to know again thanks for listening have yourself a blessed day and always remember to put God first in all that we do Put him first in all that we do. Love yourself because God loves you. He has given his life so he can set you free. Do you want to be free? It's your choice. It's your decision. You can come into that freedom. You can. So please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please take this opportunity to. Thanks again for listening to Villa Vibes. My name is Kay and stay tuned for more videos because on this platform, we do a wide range of topics. Today we're talking about relationship talk and the topic is self-reflection before marriage and reflecting on yourself in general. So we might not know what the next topic will be, but again, thanks for listening. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll okay, end guys. with this video. Take a listen and take a Father you forgiveness is necessary for true freedom for us to fully be able to be free if you have an ought against anybody but especially somebody who was supposed to be there in a way in your life and they were not or they violated you or they mistreated you or they were just lazy or they were there with things but not there emotionally if you're gonna experience true freedom you're gonna have to forgive your father and I know no pastor has ever said this to you, but you will only be able to be used up to a limit until you let them go. You can only be able to be used up until this point. But God said, I can't trust you to talk to them about that because you ain't even dealt with it. I can't send the people I want you to mentor to you because all of them got daddy issues and so do you. You gotta let your father go.